What's up, YouTube? It's Toron coming out to you with another episode of our survival let's play, and today we are going to be doing a couple things. We're going to change the entrance to the main base up top, and I also want to uh, show you my new brewing room that I'm working on and finish that up. And let's see. Also, let me see. Not bad. I've been I've been running it for a little bit, but I haven't been on too long, and it's already harvested quite a bit. Um, and then this still works beautifully. I don't know if I've shown you guys the changes I did, but basically uh, these two hoppers go into this one, and this hopper goes into there. And then this hopper filters into that chest, and then the same over here. These two go into that one, and that one goes in there, and then goes into the chest. And it does pretty good. It's actually been very successful in... in uh, generating this for us and then this is super successful um, as you can see I have quite a bit of another wart built up and then melons, oh time to harvest gotta love that did I miss any? Nope. Sweet. Let's see. Melons. And pumpkins. Oh, I also added this recently. Just a little garbage disposal. To get rid of unneeded stuff. Um, and you guys have seen the rest of that. Up top here, this is the new brewing room. It is awesome. At least I think so. I uh, went to my creative world and kind of messed with the layout trying to get it the way I want and this is what I came up with so I came back here and dug it out and put it all together it took me quite a while to get this dug out but all these other ones are finished I wanted to show you guys the process to build one of these so that's what this is for we need the dispensers the hoppers the chests the redstone um, and stone should be stone bricks And stone bricks. All right. So what we'll do here? Oh, plus we need to put down the all important brewing stand right there, and then we put that on there, and then we put one on the side, and then of course we put a chest on top. And then this chest is going to hold all of our water bottles. So this way, we can fit all of these. And I'm pretty sure that's it other than that one, but I have some over here. All right, we have a few extra, but not too many. So basically what we do is in here, we come three back on this, connected, and then we need to throw down a block here. Um, this is going to be, well actually we'll put another block over here for now. This is going to be the hoppers. Oh, hey. And there. And there. And there. There we go. Much better. So basically, and then we add it. one block there. And then we redstone from the switch. Oh, I know what I did wrong. There we go. You I don't need anymore. There we go. So this, there's a button on there. The redstone comes up, up here. It'll trigger this one, this one, then this one. And this one you'd fill with another wart. Which, uh, let's just see. 
All right, we'll do a um, another word, melon redstone, just so I can show you guys how it works. All right, so here we'll put the nether warts, the melon, and then the redstone. And then we come over here, and as you can see, already has a water bowl, so if you take one out, automatically puts one in. So we hit that. Oh, it picked up an extra hopper. But the nether wart was the first thing in there. So we'll try this again. I'll show you. Like that. So as you can see, melon and redstone, and the first thing in there is the nether wart. I knew I had an extra hopper somewhere. All right. So basically, that's what happens. is It goes to the nether wart, then it'll push the next thing on top, and that all goes into there. And that's it. That pretty much is how all the rest of them are set up, except for this one. This one is for, wait, that's strength, not this one. It would be this one. This is the invisibility potion, which basically means you have to make a, um, you have to first make yourself the uh, night vision potion, and then add fermented spider eye to it. And so basically, this is um, all three of the originals. And then as the final, as it comes up here to tick the, four, the third one, it sends a red pulse signal over to this one to send in the fermented spider eye. And then those combined will make us an invisibility potion. So we'll take out that, do it that way, and then I'll show you guys. So redstone, carrot, redstone, or nether wart, carrot, redstone, and then spider eye. And it'll all go through and do its job and make us an invisibility potion. So let's cover this up now. Make it look all pretty. Right? Yeah. That way, when you look through here, you don't see the uh, what's behind it. It's covered up. I did the same thing on these ones as well. And that's all there is to it. And what I would do is put the bottle or whatever potion is. But this is an extra one here. So this one is going to be whatever the new potion eventually comes out. And, you know, they're always giving us new potions and stuff. So when they give us another new potion, that's what it'll be. Is this one here. Or if I find that I'm using a, a weakness or harming potion or something I could put that here and water bottles oh you can't do uh, redstone in those that's uh, glowstone that does the instant health too which is alright because I don't need to worry about that Actually, I should go take the ingredients out of this real quick. Because they're not doing me any good in here. And then I left the backs of these all open so that you can go to each one and fill it up. So all you have to do is open up one and you can reach them all. But yeah, this is my new brewing room. I left the original brewing one on the main floor. Just so that I don't always have to come down here to make an uh, night vision potion. Um, but yeah, this is the new brewing room. Uh, you guys will have to let me know what you think about it. Uh, it took me a while to do it, and uh, I like how it turned out. Um, the thing I want to do now is I want to move the main entrance. Because I recently moved the bedroom down to its own room. And I have this entrance here that's kind of doing nothing. So what I want to do is move this. Uh, move it, but tie this into this entrance over here. 
So I'm not sure if I should stop and then come down here again. I think I'll just go straight over. And then we'll go... Um, oh, I need to see what the... Uh, Let's see now, F3. This is one, two, three, four, five, perfect. So we need to go to Z999. And the Omni, and then the uh, Thunder all of a sudden kicks in. Of course I know I'm gonna have to dig this down a bit. Um, but that's all right. First, we want to get over to 999, and then go over two after that, because 999 is the middle. Yes, Thunder, we hear you. 999. So go over two more. All right. So one, two, this should be 999. And we'll start going down. And let's see. Voila. So here's the room. Because I don't necessarily have to have the room there. I can have the stairs start right at the the entryway here. I can have that be the where the stairs start going up. I think I'm gonna do the stairs out of this color. Or I'll keep the stairs as a stone and stone brick theme. Yeah, I'll probably keep it the stairs that way. But this way, at least... Golly, you gotta love the thunder. But then I'll close up this way here. So that'll be a little bit nicer of an entrance. So you just come down here and head straight, and then over. And then have to go this way, then this way. And then that way, when you come down... I can close that off and match the two sides up, and then you'll have the corners, and then these two as entrances. And I think that'll actually look better in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish this off, and then I'll get back to you guys and show you what it looks like in the end. So I'll be back momentarily. All right, guys, and I'm back. So as you can see, the walls are now closed up, and here's the entryway. Um, due to this right here, if I brought the stairs any f further forward, you end up hitting your head on it. And I didn't like that. So what I did is I went ahead and pushed the stairs back. That way I can also do a decent floor design so that this middle point is kind of like the corner. And so what I did is because I just brought the stairs straight down from there. And I take the stairs straight up. So it's quick, easy. It's not too complicated. And I think it works. I like I like it now. It's just a couple quick stair, uh, two uh, two stairs, two flights of stairs, and then this short little thing, and you're in the main room. So I like how that flows a lot better. Um, I think it uh, I think it works better than the way I had it before. We had to go up and around, then around, then up, and it's just too many stairs. This simplifies it and makes it a little easier. So now we can go sleep the night away. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys this. Um, but I redid the floor. I might have shown this in my last video, but I can't remember. Um, but I made it kind of match the, uh, the stairway coming down. And helped it blend into the room. So I like how it I like how that how it flows better. I think it works. I think it does the job that I was looking for. 
and I like how this works. It's uh, I, I think it, it there's just the uh, the flow of the room feels better to me. And this flows well. I need to figure out how to bridge this and this. Unless instead of using cobblestone, I switched to using redstone brick everywhere. Um, but then I don't know that that would look as good. Because down here, I'm using the redstone brick to show that this is nether wart. And then this is the pumpkin melon, and then my reeds are under the stone. Just as a quick reference point. Um, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think I want to switch to using redstone brick everywhere. I kind of like the different the uh, the difference in contrast between all of them. Um, but I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh yeah, I might need to eat soon. Um, but now I need to figure out what my next project's going to be. I uh, I moved I moved this around. I redid the entrance. I've got my animal farm going. I got my storage room. My nether portal. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. I think I might go outside and big build something um, at some point. Maybe I was considering building a giant castle or a wizard's tower somewhere uh, just for the fun of it. And I haven't quite decided yet where I want to do that. Oh, one last thing to show you guys. Ta-da! I don't know if I showed you guys yet or not. I can't remember. But we're going to find out. Oh, wrong way. I added, I made an addition to the storage room, which is awesome. Because you guys remember, this is the world where we've killed the Ender Dragon. And I'm able to go to the end and get myself billions of Ender Pearls at any point I want and, and whatnot. So, since I didn't really have anywhere to put it. Oh, where's it at? There it is. So I went ahead and expanded this to make it a shrine for the dragon egg. Ta-da! Which is awesome. So it's my trophy room with my dragon egg. Maybe I'll come in here and add the uh, the heads of the... Uh, I'll put like the uh, skeleton, creeper, and zombie head in here or something. Oh hey, I just noticed that. There we go. All right, that looks better. So maybe I'll put the creeper, zombie, and uh, skeleton heads in here, but I still have to have a spot for the wither skeleton. So I don't know. But yeah, that's what I added recently too. Um, was that I thought it would be really cool to put that in here. Just have a place for it. I've been using a ton of my uh, quartz. I gotta go get me some more. And slime balls and stone. Stone. Stone, stone. Cobblestone. Stone bricks. I need to go do a quarry somewhere too. That's another thing. I don't have a, a set quarry anywhere. And I need to make one. Maybe that's what I'll do next. Maybe I'll find a good location for a quarry for us. Of course, I don't put the stone bricks where they go. Oh, it's because I don't have a spot for them over here. Alright, that would be a good reason why I didn't put them up. I bet you that's because I have a spot for them um, up here. Alright. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do next. We're going to find a place in here to go do a, a mine shaft. Maybe we'll go down here. I don't know. Because mine chef, I want to put at level ten. So I'm not quite sure. Oh, and down here we have our zombie spawner. So still gotta turn this into a zombie farm. 
But because of the farm above us, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I might have to push him from here that ways a bit and then drop him 22 or so blocks and have my killing zone further down. You know, that might be the best way to do it. Not sure yet. Got to figure it out. But I know I can't go up in that because I'd go right up into the farm. So I might have to find another another spawner somewhere to make a farm out of instead of using this one. I'm not sure yet what I want to do. Um, but I do have plenty of space to expand over this way. Um, so I don't know. I'll figure it out. i got to figure out what I... I want to do that, but I'm thinking the next thing I want to do is build, make us a, uh, a mine shaft. Oh, lucky. That could have been death to us. Because right now we're at 23. So I could always... Let's see... Yeah, I could always do it right on this level. Oh, hey, look. I haven't picked up those diamonds yet. That's because when I found these, I didn't have a fortune pick. Mine. Thank you. So what I'm thinking is maybe we can have a we can come down from that spot up there ah hate when that happens alright where's it go oh there it is we can come from here and we can basically start going down right here we can take ourselves down to the uh, the proper level from here, and then set up the room, and then have the mine shaft start that way. I'm thinking that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that might be the best way for the mine, and I still needed to finish. I did find another stronghold. Um. It's off about 300 blocks or so from where we come out in the nether here. So what I need to do is build a train track going from... I need to go, first of all, I need to finish... I need to go to the nether and build a nice room around the portal. And then from there I need to go out via train tracks to the stronghold so we can go to the end a little more efficiently uh, from here. So that's what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, I might work on another room first. Work on another room and then work on the train tracks. And then after we get all that done, then I'll build us down to a mine shaft. And we can start on the mine shaft. I think that would be the, the best approach right now. Because I don't have a, a quarry going and I need to get the path to the stronghold done. Only three? You guys are slacking. Slackers? You guys are all dead now. Where is he at? I don't think it's picking up the sound from my ones above us. Maybe. I don't know. But anyways, you guys, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I just wanted to show you guys the, the new uh, potions room. So you guys can see what it looks like. I wanted to show you how I was doing the automatic potion stands. Uh, so that way if you guys want to do those in your own world, you can. And just to figure out what to do next. And I think I have an idea. So, potion room again. And then the new doorway upstairs, which is, I think, awesome. 
it uh, works better in my mind to come in that way. So now you can come in through what looks like a main entryway instead of this little side door over here. And then we still have this brewing stand up here. So I don't know. I like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, you guys. I appreciate all that you guys have watched my videos and all my subscribers. You guys rock. Thanks for the support, and I will chat with you guys later. Peace.